Its Pure Mobility AG's acquisition of Husqvarna in 2013, the brand has cleverly integrated KTM's platforms into their motorcycles, adding their unique flair to create modern Huskies. While models like the Norden 901 and 701 Supermoto slash Enduro have seamlessly bridged the travel and street sectors, the Svartpilen and Vitpilen naked models stand out with distinct identities tailored to specific markets. While the Svartpilen 701 garnered praise, its single-cylinder engine sparked curiosity about its potential with a twin. In response, Husqvarna introduces the Svartpilen 801 for 2024, housing the robust 799 cubic centimeters LC8C engine borrowed from KTM's 790 Duke. Yet, a crucial question remained. Would this upgraded engine propel the Svartpilen 801 into a league of its own? The LC8C engine underpinning the Svartpilen 801 isn't shrouded in mystery. Shared among KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas under pure mobility, it's the same power plant found in KTM's 790 Duke. Notably, this engine, reintroduced recently, is produced by KTM's partner CF Moto in China, also featured in some of their models. The 799 cubic centimeters, liquid-cooled parallel twin-engine boasts double overhead cams, each cylinder equipped with four valves. Its bore and stroke measure 88.0 by 65.7 millimeters, complemented by lightweight forged aluminum bridge box pistons and a 12.5 to 1 compression ratio. Crafted from high-pressure cast aluminum, the crankcase maintains minimal wall thickness, contributing to the engine's svelte 114-pound weight. Sleeveless aluminum cylinders, coated with nicosil, ensure durability, while semi-dry sump lubrication and 15,000 km mile, service intervals enhance maintenance efficiency. Two balance shafts, one positioned ahead of the crankshaft and the other amidst the camshafts, ensure smooth operation. The cylinder head houses a pair of assembled camshafts, lighter than their one-piece forged counterparts. Actuated by diamond-like carbon-coated finger followers, steel intake and exhaust valves, measuring 36 mm and 29 mm respectively, facilitate efficient gas exchange. Fuel delivery is managed by a duo of 46 mm throttle bodies controlled via ride-by-wire technology. Exhaust gases are channeled through a pre-muffler chamber housing catalytic converters, concealed between the engine and swing arm, before exiting through a stainless steel silencer. Experience swiftly confirms the LC8C's prowess. Husqvarna asserts 105 horsepower at 9,250 RPM and 64.0 pound FT of peak torque at 6,500 RPM. While these figures may lag behind larger displacement LC8, see iterations like the 890 and 990 versions, they perfectly complement this bike's design and performance. Our day of riding unfolded as we pursued the lead rider through stunning mountain roads just north of Toulon, France. Covering 150 miles, our journey was spirited, navigating narrow, occasionally damp roads teeming with cyclists on a bustling Saturday. Amidst the realm of tight twists and turns, the engine showcased remarkable performance. From the get-go, torque was readily available, gradually escalating towards the 9,000-plus RPM mark. Maintaining the engine within its optimal mid-range was effortlessly facilitated by the standard easy shift-up slash down quickshifter, which, we must note, has seen significant refinement with each LC8C iteration, surpassing even the unit on the KTM 890 Adventure are we tested just a year prior. This engine epitomizes versatility, maneuvering through traffic in the quaint villages of Provence, southern France, it exhibits ample torque and predictable behavior, ensuring a smooth ride without any jerky responses or excessive effort. Transitioning from urban roads to winding routes, its vitality becomes apparent, undoubtedly buoyed by the bike's nimble weight, claimed at 399 pounds without fuel. With power to spare, it effortlessly lifts the front tire or induces controlled slides, especially when not constrained by conservative TC settings. Overall, the engine's performance begs the question. Why didn't Husqvarna integrate it into their lineup sooner? It undeniably enhances the Svartpilen 801, elevating it to a league where it contends with renowned models like Honda's CB650R, Triumph's Trident 660, Ducati's Monster, Suzuki's GSXS, and Yamaha's MT-07. 
When it comes to electronics and rider aids, many of the Svartpilen 801's competitors offer minimal or basic packages. However, Husqvarna steps up with a more comprehensive set, albeit with some options requiring additional investment. At the core of the standard package are three ride modes, Sport, Street, and Rain. These modes come with preset parameters for MTC, traction control, and ABS, benefiting from a six-axis IMU for lean-sensitive adjustments. Additionally, predetermined settings for wheelie control, engine brake control, and throttle response are included. Sport mode offers lively throttle response with reduced TC and Supermoto ABS, which doesn't adjust with lean angle. Conversely, Rain mode provides smooth throttle response, ample TC, and maximum ABS, while road mode strikes a balance between the two. For enthusiasts seeking advanced electronic control, the Dynamic Package, $420, is available. It introduces an additional mode and allows manual selection from 10 levels of TC, 5 levels of wheelie control, and adjustment of MSR, motor slip regulation. Cruise Control, $289, is also an option, requiring installation of a new control pod on the left handlebar. This upgrade adds a programmable custom shortcut button, enabling convenient control over various aids. Menu navigation is a breeze with the left bar control pod, featuring a block of up slash down, left slash right buttons for swift selections. The 5-inch TFT display shines with brightness, offering clear and informative visuals, along with various view options tailored to individual preferences. Equipped with a standard USB-C connector port, the bike also boasts smartphone connectivity, enabling access to the Ride Husqvarna Motorcycles app for phone and music control, as well as turn-by-turn -turn navigation. During our press launch experience, we had the rare opportunity to thoroughly test all the modes, thanks to roads left damp by overnight rains. Starting off with street mode in the early morning, we explored rain and sport modes before transitioning to dynamic mode once the roads dried out. An exhilarating choice. While Sport Mode offers a thrilling ride for those not opting for the dynamic package, having complete control is an appealing luxury we would recommend. Despite its understated Svartpilen styling, think of this bike as a wolf in sheep's clothing. It shares a lineage with a brand whose motto is ready to race, and it lives up to that legacy. With the right rider aid and mode settings, the Svartpilen 801 reveals a delightful naughty streak, ensuring an exciting ride every time. Chassis and Ergonomics Compared to its predecessor, the 701, the Svartpilen 801 has undergone significant changes in its chassis. The frame now comprises a tubular steel front section, utilizing the engine as a stressed member, while the subframe is crafted from cast aluminum, serving as the rear end's tail section without any separate plastic bodywork. A die-cast aluminum swing arm directly actuates the shock, allowing space for the exhaust pre-chamber in place of a traditional linkage. In the realm of suspension, the Svartpilen holds an advantage over some competitors. Up front, it features a 43mm inverted W 